Hi, I'm Danny from Lespina Renewed Image Salon, and I'd like to take a moment to share my thoughts on wigs and cranial prosthesis for patients about to start chemotherapy. As a licensed hairstylist, I've been doing hair replacement service for well over 30 years. Our salon provides a comfortable and private setting for hair replacement clients, cancer patients, and those dealing with other medical issues. We are not a warehouse or outlet store. Consultations run close to one hour, so the best system and color will work best for you, whether human hair or synthetic. All units are then custom fit and cut. These procedures should only be done by a licensed professional, something extremely important for all patients to keep in mind. With that being said, allow me to tell you a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of synthetic hair. On the plus side, the short synthetic hair I use looks real and it's easy to care for once it is cut in, something I like to call wash and wear hair. And I will teach you how to wash and care for your unit so that you can easily do this at home. Now, long synthetic hair, well that's another story. And that's where human hair is a much better choice. Long synthetic, anything past the collar will get that somewhat tangled singe look in about four to six weeks of daily wear and it will need to be brought in and refurbished, but 95% of the time I can get them looking like new. And I'm one of the few specialists in this industry who can actually offer this service. For natural movement, shine, and styling options, it's always human hair, and it will always outlast synthetic systems. Whichever system you choose, it should always fit your head properly and never requiring a cap or band underneath it to take up space. A sure sign of an improper fit and something that should be avoided. Wigs come in different sizes and are never one size fits all. The units offered here have their advantages and look amazing. Thank you for watching and I wish you a speedy and healthy recovery.